ever wanted to know the difference between self-directed care and attending care, just stick around to the end and I'm gonna tell you everything. If you don't know me, my name is Kion Church. Who am I? I'm your in-home health care guy. Everything concerning in-home health care, activities of daily living, you know, look to me because I'm going to be able to straighten you out the best way. A lot of people say, Mr. KC, who do you help? I help financially challenged family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care plan. Now, listen, those are my kind of like favorite kind of people. You know what I mean? Like, I love everybody. But if you got a you know, a, 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 a opportunity that you're in front of that some people don't even know they're in front of a beautiful opportunity that they maybe could put some money into their pocket and help themselves and help the family member or the person, their loved one that they're already taking care of. I feel like that's a good thing. You know what I mean? So that's kind of like my favorite person. You know what I mean? So I try to go the extra mile and help the people that can use it the most, basically. You know, if you got a cousin if you have a uh, brother, family member, loved one, relative, taking care of somebody else, they might need a little extra help. Don't be afraid to share this video, you know, as we going on. If you know they, they can use this help, write their name in the comments. It's all good. I love to help them people like that, you know. A good question was asked to me. Um, a case manager actually asked me. She said, well, Casey, what does Reliable Aid do? I told her that we don't do self-directed care, we do attending care. And she's like, well, what is that? So I said, well, that's a good question. Let me talk to my people in the audience because it may be a few of you who do not know what that actually means. So attending care versus self-directed care. Well, let's, let's talk about self-directed care because this is what the case managers are pushing because this is what they know. All right. Self-directed care is where you are the member, you're the Medicaid, uh, uh, enrollee insurance haver you know what i mean you're the you're the, you're the patient so now um you need a little extra help and you found out that uh you're eligible for an aid because you're medicaid long-term health care program so your case manager may offer you what's called self-directed care now that's where you take it upon yourself and then you you gonna find an aid you know that could work the hours you, you you're gonna make the schedule for the people to come you're gonna um I guess you're gonna do your own self in-home assessment and figure out what it is that you actually need. And then, you know, you're gonna write that down and then you're gonna come up with the care plan. Basically, they're gonna have you doing everything. You know, they're gonna have you uh, working the time sheets. They're gonna have you making sure the employees or your caregivers are showing up on time, doing their work. And then they're gonna have you turning in the time sheet so they can get paid. That's kind of a lot for a person who actually needs some help. So I don't know if that's really what you wanna do. What you might want to do is do what we do, what's called attending care. That's where you, you let the best company around handle all the business. And then, you know, you, you basically, you sitting back, you like this, Cocoa Beach. Hmm, reliably got it going on. Because you don't really want too much. You don't, you don't want too much on your plate. You already got a lot going on. Why would you want to uh, manage a caregiver? Why would you want to... Uh, you know, take care of their shift, uh, their schedule, their paycheck, their who's clocking in. You might be a person that has a lot of hours. You know, like we got a lot of uh, clients that have 60 hours, 80 hours. I mean, we, we, we may have three or four family members on these, on these uh, good people around the clock. Now, I don't know if you want to be, you know, involved in that kind of scheduling. You know what I mean? You might want to do attending care with reliably. You know, if you're here with me right now, man, smash the wild face. Give me some hearts, some likes. I don't know. But whatever you do, don't be afraid to share this thing because this is a really good message, man. You might even need this. You know what I mean? So that's the main difference, self-directed care or attending care. You know, like it's really hard out there if you need help. And if you need help, you don't want to have to run the whole business yourself. You want to be able to turn that over to a, a reliable, competent, uh, you know, a person who's already got the structure in place. That's reliable. Eh? Call me. If you need me, call me. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Don't forget to like and share this post because there's a lot of people out there who definitely, uh, they already stuck with self-directed care. Like if you if you look around and you talk to people, you know, they probably got one or two companies and these people is, uh, you know, they either haven't got started with the company or the company is on their back. Like, look, man, you need to give me your, your aids this and your aids that. And, you know, I, I mean, who has time for a missed? 
time report sheet to the insurance company. Like, I don't even got time for that. I hire people that can take care of that. I hire people that if it's somebody calls out, they cover the shift. And I know you're sick and all that and you need a little help. Maybe you got time for that. But if you don't, call call reliably. I was going to say call me. But if you, you ring that number, I'm going to answer anyway. You know what I mean? Look, 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. I love you. Don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of other people is bad business. You know what I mean? We doing this to get our business. Them other people that, that only look out for themselves, they going to get what they get in the end. You know what I mean? But me and you, we going to get what we get in the end. All right? <laughs> so, look, I love you. Thanks for sticking around with me. Don't forget to like and share this post. You know what I mean? Uh... Do me a favor, anybody that you know that's getting stuck with self-directed care from the insurance company, tell them KC got a better way. Call him, all right? Share the post with him. Look, I already know what it is. I ain't going to let them go through that. I, I got you. I know what time it is. If you eligible to get the paycheck put in your pocket, call me, all right? I need you. I need you to get paid, man, because your money's out here for you. Let's go. Talk to you later.